Right, hello. Uh, Saturday, uh, a bit late on the reviews this week. Uh, had a lot on, so you know I'm back. Uh, got quite a lot to review uh, to get through this weekend, uh, so I'm going to be a bit late on a few things. Right, Shields, episode four, season two. Very good episode this week. Better than last week. Found last week's a bit of a drab. You know, it dragged a bit. This week we got went straight into the action. Uh, Storyline, it was just basically let's put some threads together and and a bit more with Colson. You know, and the artwork. Right, let's get into the story first. Story is uh, a church burns down in Florida. Uh, that burns down in Florida. Uh, there's a strange picture of some religious icon uh, survived. Uh, it's 500 years old. But on the back of the picture, because these vicars turn up and all this, uh, there's a lot of alien writing. Right, so it gets sort of like we jump ahead to S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, there's a few things going on there. There's no Simmons this week. Vic's still insecure. You know, uh, Colson and May have gone on a mission together. The rest of the guys are on the bus and they're monitoring the thing. They penetrate this uh, party. Obviously, run. I don't. It's not run by ads, uh, but it's it's high security. Uh, Colson goes and uh, they're there to grab the picture, you know, because it's in storage, but it's not there. And uh, Colson thinks he meets General Talbot. He's he's not General Talbot. He's wearing a chameleon uh, uh, camouflage thing over his face, and he look. He you know it makes you look like different people. And uh, it's funny because they did that in the Shield comics years ago, or something similar, camo, camo net, camouflage net or something. It, it makes it look different, which is, you know, it's what I love about this because they are taking some of the stuff from the old Shield stuff. You know what I mean? From the comics from the sixties and that, you know, the Kirby and that, which is sort of quite good. Then Sterenko. But anyway, enough of the Shield comics. Uh, we'll get back to the program, and. Uh, he, uh, Colson thinks he's talking to Glenn Talbot, he's not Glenn Talbot, uh, Glenn Tal this Glenn Talbot doesn't know who Colson is. Uh, and he's that uh, anyway, he gets pictures of him, checks up with eyes or whatever and realises it's Sergeant Colson, he's there looking for a picture. So like a game of cat and mouse now, they go down, anyway him and May break into this thing, try the pictures, they find the picture's not there, they get out of the building, the alarms go off. And uh, they meet General Talbot outside and he says, you know, I can help you. Um, sorry, I've got hiccups. I can help you and uh, go on to uh, on to get these alien glyphs, you know, described. And we'll move on to uh, to a secret base under Tal Talbot's watch, and you know, and that's it. Where like Colson can they can all work it out what it means. And uh, then, uh, you know, obviously, he says, give me an hour, um, and, you know, sounds interesting, because Colson wants to know what's really going on. May says, uh, I'll report back to everybody, give me an hour. So anyway, what happens, uh, May follows Talbot back uh, to the hotel, uh, she figures out, she looks in through the door, she's a Hydra agent with files on Colson and May, goes in, has, kicks this bird's head, kicks this girl's head in, <coughs> and, uh, Big a bit of a fight. Anyway, guy at Talbot, he's the creepy guy, the assistant of Dr. Whitehall, his second in command. Uh, you know, he walks in, she starts on him and then the other woman who she was beating up, let her, you know, electrocutes her, stuns her. And and then she takes on it, she wears the camo net and becomes agent mate. She infiltrates uh, Colson's lot. Colson's on his way, but in the car together, on the she's taking him back there. He's the other guy's got the other may tied up the real man he's going to torture her to find out what's going on who's left his shield and he's realised it many of them to fight the swaves of Hydra you know and he's going to zap her with the uh, a light bulb and uh, anyway she says well you know I'm going to kick your ass and and that's it anyway Colson's in car he clicks on that the male's with him he's not me so what happens is, is uh, he plays along he says something about having a cup of coffee, she doesn't drink coffee, he smacks her in the mouth, she goes flying, 
she wakes up. Uh, and meanwhile, creepy assistant is fighting outside between Colton and imitation me. And uh, May breaks free. She's on the verge of attacking the other guy. And uh, doors fly up, and May comes out. And uh, Colson, he runs off the creepy guy. Colson's I'll deal with him. He says, You're going to be alright, so I'm going to kick her ass. Big fight between her and May. Got to admit, great fight scene between May and May. And uh, May kicks her ass. Colson shoots the guy, Zap with a uh, laser stun weapon, and uh, gets the picture. Then we jump back. In all this, when the other mayor went on board the bus, the imitation mayor, she planted some shield technology. It messes up electrical systems, and the team become trapped on the bus. Now, anyway, it's all left to fix, and he's he's sort of like he's seen an invisible Simmons who is talking to, which is going to be interesting. She gives him the confidence so you can you know serve everybody, and he saves everybody on the plane. You know, he's still got problems, but they end up saving him. And, and that's it. He saves the players, getting his confidence back a bit, and he's he's trying to bond with them. It's still hard for him, but that's it. So basically, the team, you know, so anyway, Colton gets the picture. Him and May go back to the bus. Then there's, he's been trying to tell her through the entire program, look, you know, with this alien writing, I don't want to end up like Garrett, who became a mad cyborg, you know, lost the plot. And he says, I want you to put me down. May says, I'm not going to put you down. I'm going to take you somewhere and save your life and we're going to work it out. He's going, no, if it comes to it, I'll stick a, stick a fucking bullet in the head. And he tells us, you can't do it, but he's told her, and if anything happens to me, I want you to become the next director of S.H.I.E.L.D. So that he's made it clear because he said to her, the big choices are coming. And, and then we jump right to the end. We see Dr. Whitelaw. Anyway, do you remember the hair in the dress, the lady in the dress? I forgot her name now. And uh, she's in a car ordering some flight somewhere, you know, that was her that got the obelisk a few weeks ago. And there's a lot of hydro agents getting the car with her, you know, and she's like, and that Dr. Whitelaw turns out and says, look, I'm nobody you don't want to mess with. And uh, he sticks his device on and he says, I want the obelisk back, you've got 48 hours, and he, she's terrified of him, you know, she's quite dodgy herself. And that's where it finishes. So I'm going to give this week, well, it, it, I'm going to give it... Four out of five, a four and a half, four and a half, and I think I think that's I think that's enough for this week. It it, it we're all right. It, it, last week dragged, but this week we're good. But now for an overall review. Nice. The best bits is nice to see what's going on with Colson. Uh, his relationship with me is really interesting. I think something could be building here. Cause I think he does fancy her. You know, but they're very close and they work great together. Do you know what I mean? And she really cares about him. And it's nice to see their relationship. Because I, 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 I quite, I, she's my favourite one, is me. I think she's absolutely stunning. And I think, I just think she's really nice. And uh, what an awesome relationship they're building on it. You know what I mean? Uh, and that's interesting because uh, the chemistry is there. So it's going to be interesting. Colson's getting worried about the, the, you know, the glyphs and the alien stuff. Sky, so we get a little shot of Sky looking at this picture on the laptop. She's investigating her own thing because she knows someone's been held back from that. And especially with what Ward said to her about, I know where your father is. Well, the father's Whitelaw, Dr. Whitelaw, I think. You know, I think that's where it's going. Thing with Simmons got losing the plot a bit, you know, fix uh, losing the plot seeing Simmons, you know, but we're obviously this is gonna be a bit more into this over time. So uh, it would an it would like an it would a nice episode, few plot scene, you know, built a few things up slowly. And it's, it was just like on a, on a mission uh, and, and running about, and then we got, and then Talbot turned up. I've got to admit, I, I know what they're going to do with Talbot's ca character, and they've said this before, but, you know, I like it when Colson phones him up on a secure line, really, just winding him up, basically. You know what I mean? But, you know, I think Talbot knows Colson's heart's in the right place, you know, but even though he's under orders to get him. But Colson's been used by Hydra, obviously, in the higher up in the government somewhere. So, this is all coming to end. So, a pretty stand standalone episode. Nice little short story. It sort of covers a bit more into it. We didn't really learn much of 
the alien stuff and what's going on. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I personally think about the sky thing. I think we're going to get more into the sky thing because there's no end credits for next week. So something must be coming. So, uh, you know, I, she's either, well, I think there might be a scroll connection or an inhuman connection. You know, I could be wrong, you know, but we'll have to wait and see. So anyway, that's my review of, uh, oh yeah, the new people. Get I like the new team. Get in there. I know they're all super good looking and they're all perfect and all that. But I am bonding with the new team. I think they're quite cool. But we're only to episode four. So I'll see you on the next review. Okay, have a great weekend. Oh yes, and don't forget to subscribe to my videos and share them and we'll debate this.